Hello my friends, I am Kathy Adams Clark and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Um, I got a question from Barbara Akers Ed on my YouTube channel asking me to show and demonstrate a real quick way to edit a lot of pictures, um, particularly of birds. And I just got back from a nature festival called Feather Fest in Galveston, Texas. So I have a lot of photos to edit and they need to be edited fairly quickly. So I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you one method on how to edit your photos super, super fast in Bridge using Adobe Camera Raw. I will do a follow-up video showing you a second method on how to edit your photos super fast in Bridge and Adobe Camera Raw. But this is what I'll call method one, and this is just where we start out with an initial cull, just a real quick cull of all the bad images, and then we'll work on processing a little bit more. So looking at my screen, you see that I am in Bridge and I have opened up a folder that is containing 1667 photos of birds that I took over several days in Galveston. So I'm going to start by first of all doing a simple edit, select all, and I am going to add my copyright information to each one of these images. There's a YouTube video, I'll post a link below, showing you how to build a copyright template for all of your images. So you'll notice that it's processing and down here on the bottom it's telling you what number we're going through, so it's processing. And then each one of the images is going to then have my name, address, telephone number, email address, website, and my copyright declaration. Now I'm going to take a group of these images and I am going to highlight them. So this was a group that I did sitting in a photo blind and I'm going to simply do a right click open in camera raw or if you have your preferences set open in camera raw with a double click. So I'm going to double click it will open them in camera raw So this is 116 images that have been opened in Adobe Camera Raw, all photographed in the same location, all photographed under the same lighting. Go up here to the top, edit, select all, come over here to the side, and add a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of texture, excuse me, saturation and texture. So my initial processing always starts out with about 20 texture, about 20 vibrance, and about 20 saturation. Okay, all of them were done because I didn't edit select all. Now I'm going to blow the photos up to 100% and I am going to come over and grab my hand and I'm going to pull over to the cardinal's face. Go back up to the top photo, highlight it because now I'm finished doing them all at one time. I'm just going to do them one at a time now, but you see that the cardinal's face is not sharp, so I'm going to hit the trash can. It's gone. Second image, cardinal's face looks a little sharper, but it's still not sharp enough for me, so I'm going to hit the trash can again. Cardinal's face, third image, not sharp, hit the trash can. Cardinal's image, fourth image, it's down, not sharp. I've seen this bird a million times before, photographed it a million times before. This is not important to me. Next one, cardinal's face is up, but not, damp, not up as high as I want it to be. Once again, I've seen this bird a lot. Easy for me to throw it into the trash can. Move the slider down just a little bit. Move your photo back around to where we are. Hot dog. There we go. Now, in this case, cardinal's face is nice and sharp. Feathers around his face are nice and sharp. Beak is nice and sharp. I'm going to go ahead and give this a three star. Three meaning it's an acceptable image, exactly what I'm looking for. I've got this one that's turned away. I'm going to click the trash can on it. And by the way, I forgot to mention something that's super important. 
see how all five of these photos, the cardinals in the exact same position, and I've got my focus point in the exact same position. Highlight them all and move with the hand so that all of them are being moved at the same time. Top image, not sharp, throw it away. Bottom in, next image, not sharp, throw it away. Next image, not sharp, throw it away. Ah, finally, there we go. So I settled in apparently and quit wiggling. So this one is looking fairly sharp, not as great as I want it, but it's not bad. But I'm going to label this one a two star because the beak isn't in focus. The focus is really over here on the, on the side of the face. What that means, two stars, it's okay, but it's really not that good because we're going to throw it away eventually. Next image, same thing, not sharp, throw it away. Next image, single image all by itself, looks like there's a little wren in there, there we go, and I can see that over here, fairly far away, not really worth it, I've seen this bird before. Next image, coming in, I've got a rose-breasted grosbeak, face is looking toward me, nothing really spectacular about it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one away as well. Now I'm working on a bathing northern cardinal under those lighting conditions. I bet you I'm going to end up throwing most of these away simply because um, it's, it's a lot of movement in a very low light situation. This was a really dark location. So now I've highlighted all of those images. I'm going to go over here, grab my hand tool. Remember, I got it from right back over here. Move all of them. So now all the images have been moved to the same location. Unclick so we can work on each one of them individually. Not good at all. We're going to throw it away. Face on this cardinal. Not great. Throw it away. Face on this cardinal. Not bad. It's got some potential. Give it a three star. Move on. We're not doing anything else. All we're doing is culling right now. Next image. Oh yeah, good. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. This has got some good feather detail in it. This is definitely a three-star image, and I'll come back to this one. So, next one. Cardinal stayed a little still. Looking pretty good. Once again, I'll come back to this at a later date. Now, next one. Cardinal's feathers are looking pretty good. Once again, everything's looking good. Next image way too much movement. Let's go ahead and throw that one away. Definitely way too much movement. Let's throw that one away. Definitely way too much movement. Let's throw that one away. Lots of holding down the button on that shutter button, trying to get that cardinal bathing, but not fast enough shutter speed at all. This one, the feather, feathers back here are in focus, but not the face. Throw it away and eyes looking down. I'm going to go ahead and just keep that for now, give it a two star. Two star means eh, sort of good, but not totally good. Click that one, throw it away. Not enough mo blurred movement to make this one worthwhile. We've got a nice face on that cardinal. Give it a three star. Focus point back here, throw it away. Not enough movement here throw it away to make it interesting. Sometimes you can get some nice bathing images, but these are just not in the right conditions. We don't have enough shutter speed to make these halfway interesting. And you notice we've got a fairly good amount of noise we're going to have to deal with later on anyway. Nice sharp detail. Next image. Yeah, no, I'm going to throw it away. We've got previous images that are fairly good. This is giving us a chance to say we've got some other stuff in here that's good. That's why it makes it easy to go ahead and throw things away. I'm going to throw this one away. Throw this one away. And with Bridge, by the way, when you are pushing the little trash can down here on the bottom, then that little trash can, you are throwing the image away. It is in your recycle bin, in your computer, if you ever want to go get it. And if you make a mistake, by the way, hit the trash can, and I'll just make a mistake on this one. Go back to that photo. We made a mistake. It's in the trash can. Unclick the trash can, and as long as I'm still in this screen, it's there. That's got some interesting stuff to it. Let's go ahead and keep it for a second. 
Now I've got a gross beak that's sitting on the branch. So let's see how many of these do I have where the gross beak is sitting on the exact same branch. Let's go ahead and just highlight them all. Go back up to the first one. Take the hand, move the head to where it's right in the center of the frame. And I see we're going to have to open some shadows up for me to make some assessments on this one. So remember, all of them are selected, so all of them are getting the same processing. And now this one, unclick the, the whole batch. And, mm, okay, but it's not great. Once again, I've seen Gross Week before. I've photographed them before, so I can be a little bit more ruthless. This is much sharper than the previous one. Give it a three star because the feathers are sharp, the eye is sharp. Next photo, face is out of focus, face is moving, throw it away. Next photo, nice detail in the face, everything's good. Let's go ahead and give it a three star. And next, whoops, next photo. Mm, not so good. Focus shift a, a little bit. Remember, I'm working in pretty bad lighting conditions. Look at that great detail in that face. So I'm going to go ahead on this one, by the way, and give it a four. Four meaning this is above average, above what I would expect on a given day when just going through and doing initial editing. Three stars, if I keep them, means that I just did my job. Face is turned away, an immediate throw away. Face is turned away, an immediate throw away. Next one, face is sort of turned away. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and toss it because I've seen this bird before. Next one, same thing. Don't like his angle. Throw that one away. Now remember, if I've never seen this bird, I'm not going to be so aggressive on this, but I have seen it before. Throw that one away, throw that one away. So I can be a little bit more picky in the photos that I throw away in this case. You notice that I've got some blowouts in this one. See right here and right here where the red is showing and up on the beak. I'm going to come back to those. Give it a three star. That one's good. This one, the beak is out of focus. Go ahead and throw that one away. Beak is, ah, beak is nice and sharp. Feathers are nice and sharp. Give it a three star. Second one looks good. It's interesting. Depth of field falls off back in here. Give it a three star. Next one turned his head. Beak out of focus. Throw it away. And you see that I'm about halfway finished this 116 images. Not bad. Give it a three star. Soft, throw it away. Face is soft because the bird's facing right at me. Face is soft. You notice that I'm going in and moving each one of them, and that's because I didn't follow my own rules. Highlight all of those bird photos that are exactly the same. Move all of them to where the face is right in the middle. Slide back up to that top. Click the highlight so that the single image so that we're back on individual image, back on individual image, they're not lined up with all the whites. And back we go again. Three star looks good. Second image fired right about the same time. Second, give it a three star. Fourth image, third image. Um, fired about the same time. We can come in and throw these away later on if we want to when we look at them in more detail. This one's not bad, but it's not as sharp as the other ones. Uh, face is not sharp. By the way, if you've got a slow computer, this one's moving pretty fast today, let them pop and make sure that they're all, the, camp, the computer is finished processing the images before you start making your decision. So this one looks nice. Bird's coming down, sharp uh, cleaning his beak. I know that's going to be a definite throwaway, definite throwaway, definite throwaway. Ah, head comes back up, holding the camera nice and steady. Looks really pretty. Good feather detail in that gross beak. And this one slipped just a little bit, so I know I can throw that away. 
Now, has, why is it easy for me to throw these away? Because I've seen the bird before, and also because I know that I have more in here that I can be crucial of. So that's how I do an initial quick down and dirty edit. And if you'll come back and join me in the second video, I will show you how I can come in and do this edit in a second way. Thank you for joining me. I am Kathy Adams Clark. If you like these, please subscribe. If you've got any comments, send me something in the comment section.